Hi guys, it's Jamie from Boxing Life and welcome to Fight Thoughts and I've got a special guest with me from the Philippines today and that is Zico from The Fight Diary. How's it going Zico? Hello, hello everyone. Nice <laughs> to meet everyone. Uh, hello Jamie, thank you for uh, inviting me to this, uh, to your live stream and yeah, I'm looking forward to everything we have in store today with our agenda and everything. So yeah, yeah, yeah. let's get to it. Let's get going. Yeah. So I was right. I was wanting to bring on Zico, like because obviously we've got um... <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, Prince. <laughs> Filipino? Oh, kamusta? Is it Filipino? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um so obviously we've got Anui versus Denier tomorrow. So that's why I wanted to get Zico on just to talk about that. But well, obviously we're gonna be talking about um just the other fights that happened at the weekend. But first and foremost, just wanted to Ask Zico, you know, about the Fight Diary and for our people that don't know you, uh, just tell us a little bit about the Fight Diary and your channel and where they can find you. So um, uh, uh, you, you can find me in both YouTube and TikTok. So um, in YouTube, it's just at the Fight Diary and on TikTok, the Fight Diary 98. And basically, um, I like to make analysis videos on, on boxing techniques and lately what i like to try to do is make shorter versions you know i like to make things a bit short quick and sweet and um so that's the thing i've been going for so short boxing analysis videos uh, sometimes i make highlight edits and you know if you're looking for just something quick quick to watch then uh feel free to check out my my channel um on youtube and on TikTok. so yeah 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 that's because I was following, I've followed Zico since I kind of started and some really good content, like even your older stuff, some of your breakdowns are great. Yeah, yes. and, oh, thank and, you, thank you. I think you're doing a great job with your TikTok right now where it's just like good short analysis. So if any of you guys are on TikTok watching, make sure to, to give Zico a follow in the Fight Diary. So really good stuff. And I, I guess just the other question, Zico, just before we get on to like the the fights from the weekend, just uh, tell me a bit about yourself and your kind of like background. And I know you were just talking. We were just talking a bit. Yeah, we were just yeah. talking before about you <laughs> yeah. know how you have quite a mix of mixed martial arts and bo not just boxing, but like Muay Thai and stuff like that too. Yeah. So um, uh, I'm more than just a boxing fan. I've always I've liked martial arts for uh, quite a while now. And it kind of started uh, when I was around 13 because, you know, I had that classic story of mm. getting bullied, getting bullied. <laughs> so so I learned. And, yeah, I got involved with martial arts. My, my first love was was boxing, which and that was the first martial art I started with. I got to compete just a few times, not too much, just two times. And I also got to compete in um, Muay Thai and Judo. So, um, yeah, you got to compete in cool. three different martial arts. So quite the experience and you know ever since i laced up those gloves um i have enjoyed martial arts and you know everything martial arts ever since but the first love has always been boxing <laughs> and i'm sure we're also talking about obviously manny pacquiao he's a oh, huge yes. inspiration yes. for all for all, yeah, all Filipinos. but 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 Zico was saying before we came on as well that he was uh, a big Floyd fan, which I'm quite surprised. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Philippines. <laughs> I'm sorry, my people. But uh, yeah, um, like that was even the 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 name of my channel. Like it was inspired by Floyd, Kid Money. You know, the, money. the money, money Mayweather, money, the money, money Filipino. <laughs> but you know, it, it was just I, I really love Floyd because you know it is just like very very opposite. Of the filipino boxing style you know because filipino boxers like to go to war and when you see someone like floyd who's so smart and who can adapt to any situation that's pretty uh pretty mind-boggling you know yeah and like how how he was able to uh take manny's strengths away you know just the ability to adapt so that's why i really like floyd but of course manny is still still special place in my heart because you yeah. know after everything he's done yeah, of course, of course. And I guess that kind of, um, and before we just kind of talk about um, the fight of the weekend, the the big one, which was obviously Cambosis Haney. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure to put them in the, the chat and 
we'll probably answer them towards the end of this or after we've kind of talked about the fights but if you want to butt in send in a super chat or something like that but just keep keep the the chat going and we'll, we'll definitely get back to you um but yeah kind of the, now that we're kind of talking about um floyd i guess that performance from devin haney at the weekend was just tremendous um obviously it was just a spot on kind of you know boxing uh, clinic boxing clinic yeah wasn't it yeah. he used the jab yeah. he moved um with yeah. his, you know, his footwork was tremendous like didn't let george set up any pace at all you know yeah controlled everything from the outside and combosis i mean he even started to look desperate he was making these really mm -hmm. wide swings that that devin just he just ducked under ducked yeah. under ducked under and george yeah. just kept missing and missing I, I, I think george was getting really frustrated after a while yeah that's one of the things i noticed as well was from um sorry from haney that he definitely made improvements from just his watching his previous fights um obviously i i did like a tactical overview video uh, before the fight and i was always i was a bit worried about him on the inside um but he he made the improvements where you know if cambosis tried to throw that left hook he would be pivoting and ducking with the waist yeah. movement and getting yeah. out of the way whereas before haney would kind of he would stand his ground in the pocket and try and use the waist movement and get hit whereas yeah. on saturday or sunday morning wherever you're watching it from he was able to just move out of the way and yeah and tie him up that was the thing yeah he kept tying the, him up yeah. and then Every, couldn't, yeah. couldn't get any work and yeah it's not pretty it's not nice but he, boxing, him boxing, yeah, boxing's got, boxing was, yeah, got him the win. I mean, De Devin did what he had to do. It, it may not be, you know, for for everyone, especially like if you're just an average guy. I mean, he was still getting a lot of boost even when he won. But you know, um, <laughs> yeah. you can't take it away from him. He played the smart game, um, clinched up with with George every time George got close, and and George just really couldn't do anything, you know, from afar and even up close. Um, I would have liked to see like George kind of try to focus more on body shots, because I, I think he was too um, he was looking for the head too much after a while yeah. when it clearly wasn't working. Yeah, I thought as well he was almost a bit too respectful of Haney. I think you have to give Haney credit for using his jab, you know, terrifically. But at the same time, I just felt like. Uh, his style just couldn't get a grip of what Haney was doing. And um, yeah, it just, it just ended up being such a comfortable win. Um, obviously yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't exciting, but if you're a boxing purist and you love the sweet yeah. science, yeah. you definitely appreciate what Haney yeah. was doing in there. Um, yeah. My brother yeah, did it. <laughs> did did, did he, was he what he convulses the Yeah, he, uh, he almost fell asleep. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I yeah. Mean, did what he it's had like, to do. What can you do? And obviously, there's going to be the rematch now. Well, that's what they're talking about because that well, was in the, the, the contract. The rematch clause, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of a bit like, I mean, is this going to work? Is that I still right? have Haney winning. If I'm yeah. Being, like, I don't see because in the, like, you know, it, it wasn't even close. Like, I don't know how much George can change that will that will uh, make a significant amount in the next fight. So I, I think the next fight is pretty much going to be, you know, the same thing again, you know, Devin controlling the distance uh, with his jab and, you know, but maybe, but maybe George comes up with something, you know, maybe they, they come up with something during camp, but uh, yeah. I, I don't see it. I, I still give it to Devin in the end. Yeah. I Like, I think maybe the work rate might be a bit better, but like maybe uh, show less respect. Them. yeah like I yeah, make it, was, it dirty yeah make it, make it a bit dirty mm -hmm. and i think just kind of like from what i kind of thought cambosis because i thought cambosis actually would have enough to win um i predicted i thought he would be able to do some of the things he did against tiofimo but the issue was he just couldn't the distance he couldn't uh, get close to him yeah. and he wasn't able to throw the overhand right and then yeah. he wasn't really throwing the jab either because he was getting yeah. caught constantly with Haney's jab. And, uh, so, got unmotivated. Yeah, and he, yeah. and you could you could see him marking up as the fight went yeah. on, yeah. and you're just thinking, you know, by the sixth round, I was like, yeah. this is not, this yeah. is just going to continue for the next six rounds. But I'm oh, sorry. No, off you go. Let's go. Uh, and and I also think why um 
George did a lot better with Teofima was um, Teofima was looking for for a war. You know, yeah. Devin was looking to box. Teofima <laughs> was looking for a war. Like what in the first round or second round, you, you hear Teofima's corner saying, um, his dad saying, and knock him out right now. <laughs> yeah. Get the knockout. So I mean, <laughs> Teofima was just going for knockout punches again and again, and, and not actually using you know any sort of boxing IQ yeah. to set up set things up. And you know, so I mean, it worked well in for George, but against a guy like Devin, who who really thinks in there and will always choose the box rather than go to a war, uh, that that's where George really just couldn't capitalize on. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a shit. Like, yeah, I I felt kind of bad for George, but at the same time, you have to, you just have to kind of give credit to Haney, and yeah, you know. It'll be the enemy territory. Yeah, exactly. You, know, you got to give all the Australians, you know. Yeah, you have and to his dad credit. um was even declined, but, but he got there eventually. But you yeah, know, he was still willing to go there when his dad yeah. was declined. So uh, that's a that's a G move. Yeah, I think he only got um like twenty percent of the pay or something like that as well. Whereas oh, uh, Devin. Yeah, Devin only oh, got twenty percent, whereas um, uh, Cambosis got eighty percent, which is just crazy, isn't it? It but should then, be different. Yeah, <laughs> when they when they rematch, you know, Devin should yeah. be the A side now. Yeah, definitely. Twenty eighty. I I figured I, at least be like sixty forty. Oh my god. No, no, I'm pretty oh sure. Oh my it's god. Eighty twenty. Yeah. So that's, that's where crazy. you have to like, you know, applaud Haney for yeah. actually, you know, just saying, you know, this is about legacy, and he's, you know, it was the right move. But yeah, um, yeah, I can't. After that performance, I can't see Cambosis like getting any i can't see him winning now i can't unless he does something you know completely changes up his approach and style but you know who knows who knows we'll we'll see what happens there um and then obviously we had two other fights at the weekend and we had cordina ogawa i believe that's how you pronounce his name um i'm not japanese guys i'm filipino (laughs) so come on (laughs) <laughs> we're, uh, different. we're different we're different we're different man. <laughs> um and it was a it was a great knockout if you guys haven't seen it um highly recommend you check it out ogawa yeah, it's a good like, fate yeah like, he kind of goes, body, he goes and, to the body and, and it went uh, up yeah it goes over the top yeah. and hits him to the right you know yeah. and i think that just shows you like anyone's capable of being exploited you know with things like faints or or, yes. or setups over time um yes. I think it was just a it was just a tremendous knockout from Cordina. And when we kind of get to the halfway point, I'll show that video which we showed at the start, and you can kind of have a look at that knockout again. Um and uh, who was the other? Uh, Fulton and um oh my god, Ro- his name's Roman. Ro- uh, Roman, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roman, yeah. Yeah, Roman, yeah. So I didn't watch it, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. So it was just that was like pretty much a boxing clinic as well from uh, Fulton, um, I rec. If you like Floyd, if you like kind of Haney style, Zico, I recommend you watch more Fulton. Fulton, yeah, okay. he's he's really good. Um, okay, he's just a nice slick boxer. Um, also, uh, Jaron uh, Jaron uh, Ennis is that his name? Jaron Jaron Ennis is also yeah. a, a pretty slick. Yeah, that they Floyd's they uh... train together. Oh, um, okay. Fulton okay, I probably Ennis. like that guy. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. They train together, and right, they're they're yeah. both from Philadelphia. Um, and yeah, I think the one thing I'll say about um, Fulton, though, and you guys can comment in the in the chat as well if you've got any thoughts on Fulton. Like, I feel like he does gets a bit he gets hit more often than not, so he does get himself in kind of vulnerable positions. But overall, Fulton, um, he's just a, he's I, I just really like his style. Um, I like the way he uses the jab, is that the Philly shell, and yeah, he's highly recommend you watch him. Zico, he's good, good fighter. I'll check him but, out. Um, probably he's it's similar to Ennis in a way, but he doesn't do the switch hitting as much. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. but he had a very good win, just a clear victory. So hopefully, um, he can uh, get a fight with the other guys in that division, super bantamweight. I believe is it, is there not a Filipino guy who is in super mark, mark mcsayo yes that guy oh yeah. okay okay so okay so that that'd be, be interesting of course that would be a good match mark i mean mark's got an upcoming fight with uh ray vargas 
Um, and I oh, think so that's going to yeah. be, yeah, and uh, that's going to be, I think a that's going to be a war, to be honest, because, because, because Mark, you know, true Filipino style, <laughs> go to war. Yeah, go to war, exactly. Go to war. Me- but, Mexican yeah. Filipino matchup. Yeah, can't, yeah, can't complain. It's always about a war. That. Yeah, exactly. Mexican Asians. <laughs> it's like All you right. said. Yes. Mexican Asians, yeah. <laughs> um, so, no, that was uh, like, I recommend you if you guys haven't seen it, um, watch the watch the fight again. And if you have any comments on that fight, that would be good to know. And um, and then finally, we've got the big one tomorrow: uh, Anui yeah. versus Denier, um in the Battle it's of gonna Saitama be, Two. So it's going to be quite a fight. Yeah. Um, how I was this is what I was going to ask you, Ezekiel, was like how is Denier in the Philippines? Is he quite obviously he moved um, over to America when he was very young, but he's still Filipino. Well, I mean, um, the Naira, oh, sorry, uh, the Naira is the Pinoy way. So I'll just say it the Pinoy way. So, okay. uh, the, the Naira, um, well, he's still very much respected in the Philippines. You know, pe- everyone, a lot of people still love him, you know, I mean, still a Filipino. Um, I, I believe he was from the same village as Manny when they were kids. I'm not oh, sure. All right. Okay. But, um, yeah, but, I, but Nonito mostly got most of his training. Uh, abroad in america already but in the philippines he's he's still a pretty big star probably the like the second to manny i guess and yeah ev- everyone all the filipino boxing fans are are tuning in uh tomorrow and we're hoping for the best for nonito yeah no I, it'll be this is like his last chance really isn't yeah. it so we'll, i mean we'll, he's had the we'll uh, twilight of his career i mean 39 uh-huh. and he made history he also made history by being the the oldest uh, champion uh, holding yeah. the, the in that division. Yeah. So you know, uh, it, it's like he's turning back the clock. You know, when I see Nonita now, it's almost like he's better. You know, yeah. like he, he turned back the clock somehow. But you know, Father Time is undefeated, and um, you know, you, you just can't take those hits as much anymore. Despite yeah. even if your skills are better, the the hits getting hit, you, you can't take it as much as when you were a kid. Yeah, no, I think it's it's a it's a. I it would be amazing. It would be such an amazing story if if he was able to to win. Uh, yeah, how yeah. do you pronounce how wait how do you pronounce his name in the Philippines? Donaire. 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 Whereas yeah, Donaire. we all say Donaire. <laughs> yeah, Donaire. Every Donaire. time I hear the. American commentators, the Nair, the Nair, like the oh, are you, you're going crazy. <laughs> so, but it's okay, you know. I I don't expect them to to say it like that, but yeah, the Nairi, the Nairi. Okay, I'll try. I'll try and say that for this. Okay, okay. Because um, I noticed, I've noticed some people in my video for for the the fight that they were saying oh, when you were it's, saying it's pronounced the I'm like, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> But oh, you yeah, know, it's a different know. country, you know. Denire. Different Denire. Pronu- pronunciations, yeah. Denire. Denire. Awesome. With, the, with the R, you know, Denire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might be hard uh, a bit, but yeah, you know, yeah. you got it. But yeah. Awesome. So, uh, so, so like, yeah, no, I was just what just as I was saying it, like it'd be such a nice story. If yeah. He was yeah. To win. And like I think he does actually have a chance. Like, I think in those first like four, six rounds. He, if he lands a big one on Anui again, he yeah. has an opportunity. He can have. He has a good opportunity, yeah. and yeah. I think but, for Anui, it was like his his game plan completely went out the window in the last fight because Denari hit him with the left hook and yeah. obviously broke his oh the, the, or, the the orbital bone orbital and also, yeah and and the the cut yeah. as well. That, that was, I, I can't believe he fought through that. Yeah. Like, most and, people would have given up. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's, it's like, crazy. could he set up another punch like that? Yeah. I don't, like... But but the, the thing is with, like, in the way has has heart and he has a chin, you know? So that's also the issue. Like, even if the Naira, even if the Naira lands, in the way could, would be able to take it. I mean, there were, there was one punch that really stunned in the way. It was, the, um, Nonito was able to have a pull counter and catch him with a straight, and and Nonito almost like was wobbling. He almost fell to the ground, yeah. but he, but he he was able to compose himself. So, you know, like 
even if Nanita lands the one big shot, he needs to land again <laughs> and again to really put Nanita down. Cause uh, to really put Inoue down, cause even cause Inoue will come back yeah. and and recover somehow. I know that's the th- it's like I think in the first fight as well, and new because obviously you got hurt with the the big shot, and then he would uh, circ- he kept circling around to his left. So yeah. Daenerys, Daenery, sorry, couldn't sit up. <laughs> I said it wrong again. It's okay. It's okay. It's so nat- I'm so natural <laughs> just saying that. But yeah. basically, he so obviously he couldn't get him with the left hook again. So he was he was landing the right though constantly mm-hmm. on Anui, and yeah. he almost needs to kind of push him back the other way to the right somehow. Whether yeah. that's doubling up his jab or throwing. Or throwing the right hand with a bit more authority, it just kind of depends. Like, because that left hook, you know that. Because yeah, I think I believe he's uh, is he not um, left-handed as well naturally? Oh, uh, he he was yeah he is left-handed yeah. naturally, but he chooses to fight in orthodox the orthodox yeah. position. So and that's where it helps him out with the yeah. left hook and even yeah, his I mean, jab, his jab as well. Yeah, I mean like. He, he perhaps has one of the best left hooks like ever one of, one of the best left hooks I've ever seen like all his really big knockouts it's always that punch so you know you always gotta be uh careful careful with that with that kind of power with that kind of power nonita has with the left hook yeah I know definitely but, yeah. but like if if uh nonita has the the left hook um uh in the West, in the way has the left hook to the body <laughs> which he caught nanita with real badly yeah uh, if we're being honest that was a 10 count you know what nanita did was smart he he ran around the ring a bit before falling yeah you know he, got a bit he of ran breathing. he actually ran yeah. around the referee yeah so yeah the referee couldn't see where he was and he yeah. like smart smart yeah yeah street yeah <laughs> that's yeah. like that's an old so, like, yeah, yeah definitely a good they, move they both him. got really good left hooks just uh, different parts to the uh, body i guess but yeah, uh, that was what I was gonna say. Like, obviously, he was Daenerys was like keeping his guard a bit lower in that fight as well. I noticed with his yeah. right hand, it was just a bit more. Oh, uh, yeah, in. yeah, but then, get hit again. Yeah, but then Anui, yeah. he didn't even hit him there, he hit him like in the solar plexus area. Like, he, mm. like he didn't hit him like cleanly, but he still hit him enough to cause that pain. Yeah, uh, that crazy, crazy power. Uh, from such you, a small man. That's yeah, I know. It's crazy. I know, it's power. crazy how much power looks, he has. It looks like he could be a J pop singer, man. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't, wouldn't expect that. <laughs> but yeah. I, what What do you think about like Anui? What, what What does he have to do to to win this? Just go to the body? Like, just uh, constantly Anita. go to the body? Well, um, for, well, for Nanito, I'll start off with Nanito. What, okay. what I think. Um, uh, Nonito has to do is you know, Nonito is such a like his arms are so much longer than than Noya like like the size alone and what I really want to see Nonito like focus on more um because because when I see him fight it's he always like charges up on the punch you know he, he likes yeah. to charge up and really throw it but I, I want to try I want to see him try setting up more things like with set it, like really try setting up his power shots like with the jab you know there are so many ways you can use the jab mm-hmm. you can mm-hmm. you can just throw it straight you can paw it you can feint it and, yeah. and i want him to really utilize that and not let you know Nooya get in close and yeah. go for those crazy uh body shots that uh Nooya is known for so yeah i mean like like i guess similar similar to like what Bevo did with Canelo you know just with the jab, he was able to do so much, and yeah. and I think that that should be the key for um in the rematch with with Noya. You know, really, really um like even like extending it and not letting yeah. him get close would be good, because I I don't see much guys with that kind of uh, like lanky build like Nonito in in the uh, division. Yeah, and no, he's I, big. He's big for the division. Yeah, definitely. He's, yeah, he's very big. He, I mean, I saw him fight U- Ubali and. He he was a giant compared yeah. to Bali, and I think with uh, Nooya, um, I I think the the game plan in the first fight was pretty good. You know, just kind of just get like Nooya is just so precise with everything. You know, you like if you move here, he knows exactly when to hit. If you move there, 
he knows exactly when to hit. Um, yeah, and, and Naoya just needs to to keep the pressure on, you know, just get in range. And yeah. really, you know, we saw the weakness of Nanita in the last fight, the body. I think he should really dig in more on that the second yeah. time around, the body. Because, you know, uh, Nanita's an old man. Yeah. Yeah. can't take it as much i think so, yeah yeah i think like you're right about the body i think um <laughs> i knew he what he, he didn't do it as much like i keep saying like he got hurt and then he kind of yeah. was trying to yeah. avoid him for a bit yeah but just those those jabs those power jabs to the to the body were working great when he did throw them yeah. but um he he would get lazy now and again with his with his jab and then that's yeah. when uh yeah. Nonito would go over the top with his right hand and catch yeah. and catch um Inoue. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I think probably going to the body is the best yeah. thing for and, you as know, we all know. But like I no, think he needs to soften him up. He needs to just do it by throwing the jab or do it yeah. or or throw the try like the, try to get in with the jab and or and then and go in with the one up. two, one two, yeah. and then yeah. he could and then he can yeah, you can add in the hooks yeah. eventually. Yeah. But he because he won't want to get caught early again. And that's where I think yeah. it will kind of, it will go yeah. past at least four rounds. Yeah. Touch wood. I hope, I hope we get a good, I hope we do get like yeah, yeah. a decent amount of time. And yeah. It's not like a knockout. It, it, it's, in the first I feel round, like but... it's, I feel like it's pretty much going to end in the knockout. Uh -huh. and, you know, I, I'm hope like uh, my prediction would be, I think, I think Nanito body shot knockout and he's going to okay. get the body Body shot now. I, I want to support Nanita, you know, <laughs> Filipinas, you know. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, man. You know, but no, he's just a freaking monster. Yeah, yeah. You know? He's the monster. But, uh, he's, he's the monster. He's the monster for, for a reason, but, exactly. But Nanita showed the monster can be hurt, you know. Yeah. And you know, I mean, I mean that he, that uh, jab he was able to counter with the with the straight. You know, maybe he could do that even more uh, this time around because. Uh, what I noticed in the fight, you know, um, um, Nooya was even beating Nonita with the jab like uh, early on. But you know, I think if he can counter that more with the with the straight, like what he did, then he he could put more punishment on Nooya and and really using the reach. You know, just don't let Nooya get too close. Really use that those lanky yeah. arms, more jab straights. Like you, you don't need to. Not everything needs to be such a power shot. You know, you can try yeah. to set things up. You know, faint a bit more. I, I don't really see Nonito faint too much. He kind of just no. throws. And his rhythm is, is like when he throws like a jab, the rhythm's always yeah. like it's the more, same. It's kind of more right? like, bo he's, he's like bobbing, a kind of bobby movement. Yeah, yeah, it's more yeah, like, that, like yeah. that. You know, I want to I wanna see more like he faint, you know, jab faint, and then straight, yeah. you know, things to trick, things to trick Nooya. Uh -huh. But the issue is he's still... He's thirty nine. Yeah, you know, that's true. well. You know, can you teach an old dog new tricks? Yeah. That's the issue. It's yeah, like yeah. it'll be interesting. I mean, that's that's kind of been his style, his whole his whole life too. So mm -hmm. I mean, we'll see. I'm I'm pretty sure they're 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 all both both teams are adding changes, but mm -hmm. yeah, but thirty nine. You know, it's, it's we'll see what he can come up with. Yeah. Well, but yeah. I hope Denuri does it, but I think uh, Anu, yeah. I think Anu, my, my I think, heart my heart's for Nanito, but yeah, I think Anu my mind is, tells me no, yeah, is gonna yeah. do it, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, because like I said, it would be such a nice story if he was to do yeah. it. Be obviously like this is like a this is a freaking anime moment, man. Like, this is, <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen Hajime no Ipo? Yeah, you know yeah, that? yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that, ah, that's yeah, what yeah. it feels like. I mean, that's ah. that's what the the fight felt like. It felt like I was watching a. An episode of Hajime no uh, Ipo, uh, but, no, but it yeah, was great. Uh, it was and then crazy, um, obviously so. I know um, Daenerys is like a massive Dragon Ball Z fan, so oh oh yeah he is. <laughs> he, he was also yeah. a, a massive Ipo fan. Oh, is I, it? Like, yeah. He, yeah, he met up with the uh, I think Ipo creator, and he even went to the gym. Oh, he said cool. like Ipo was like something he loved when he was a kid. I I remember oh, seeing a so video cool. on YouTube, but yeah, great yeah, anime. Man. I know it's good. Yeah, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully he's watching some of that before the fight yeah. and gets some, gets yeah. some magic. So yeah, that's kind of like us talking about all the fights. Obviously tomorrow, but um, just take a quick short break and leave your questions in the the chat, guys, and then we'll kind of start going through some of the questions you guys have talked about. 
And if you have any other questions, guys, make sure to put it in there. And like I said, we'll we'll answer it. So, and yeah, we'll be back in one sec. Okay. And we're back, guys. So um, just wanted to kind of get through some of these questions. If you have any more, just like I said, put them in the chat and me and Zico will go over it. We'll be here for like another half an, yeah, half an hour at most. So yeah, we'll we'll stick around if there's any questions in that time. So uh, we'll start with Gus Fring. Thanks for coming back, man. I know you've been in the stream before. Um, I'm assuming he's talking about the the Haney Cambosis fight. Yeah. Yeah. The fight was too easy to call. I told everyone it was going to be the Shakur versus Valdez again. I think bizarrely, I think Valdez actually did almost a better job in terms of trying to push the fight at times. Mm, um, yeah, yeah. I see that. I see that. Rather than Cambosis, just mainly yeah. because of Valdez's style, I think. But yeah. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Do you I, think it was I'm... quite similar or or what? What I saw with uh Val Valdez, it's like Valdez really tried you know he really tried to get in there with shakur uh, i don't know what what was with george but i, I didn't see that same type of uh, commitment because too much respect uh valdez was at least trying but i i do think valdez got the the bigger beat down in the end because shakur is just uh too smart um i i had this fight a bit closer i actually had this fight uh closer more evenly matched than Sh Shakur versus Valdez because uh, I've seen Shakur fight and that that kid's a, a sniper. Yeah, and, he's good. And he's yeah, really good. I mean, I I'd love to see you know Shakur and and Haney fight one day, and yeah. and uh, I I'd be rooting for Shakur. Yeah, if that ever happened. Yeah, I think personally, I think Shakur is yeah. a better fighter than yeah. than Haney. I think. Yeah. More fun to watch too. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoy watching him more because with him, it's like a a true. I mean, Devin Haney, you know, he did what he had to do, but when Shakur fights, he, he really makes the other guy look like an amateur, like what he did with Valdez. Yeah. I mean, Valdez had so many wars, and there's this kid who, who made him look like, you know, an, an amateur. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, he's. I really rate Shakur. I think he's, like, one of the best yeah. Um, yeah. right now. And, you know, I'm trying to think, you know... Tank Davis, could he potentially? Oh, that'd be good. That, yeah, that's kind of the. But, I'd like to see. Yeah, I, I mean, I just want to see packed. these guys fight each other now. Like, yeah, it's, it's just, really packed. Yeah, um, so much potential. Ryan Garcia. Yeah, and Garcia as well. It's just. Needs to yeah, stop I hanging out with the Insta people, you know. Yeah, I know. That's what <laughs> I want to see. I want to see like. Left Canelo. Ah, uh, I want to see yeah. like one of the big punchers though, like Garcia or. Um, yeah. Or tank in with like a Haney or a Shakur just to see how they yeah. would handle the power. Oh um, yeah, that'd that's the thing I want to see. Um, and yeah. because have they really faced anyone with huge power? And then mm. you can't forget about Lomachenko as well. Oh that's yes, thing. it's like I, I mean, such a shame, you know, like what's what, yeah. what's happening. But but if I'm being honest, like uh, these guys are are good, but I still think Lomachenko's levels. I still think he's levels above these guys. Do you think the same way, or like, who do you think would be the the toughest match I for a guy like Loma? The toughest, probably, mm, Tank or Tank. Um, Shakura, probably. 
I think personally, I, I know they've sparred. Shakur yeah, they've sparred. And, uh, I think and Loma. Yeah, and I think. I wonder how that went. Um, I think there's there's uh, clips of it online. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure there is, mm. and I think Loma's even said that's like probably one of the hardest sparring Shakur. he's ever had was yeah. against Shakur. So, mm. yeah, yeah. So yeah. maybe one It'd day. Be good. You know. It'd be good. Yeah, it would be good. I, I, yeah, for me, I think the toughest would be Shakur. I, I think I think Loma would have what it takes to to be like a matador around Tank, but Shakur is a lot more crafty. So I, yeah, I think yeah. I think Shakur would be tougher tougher matchup than than Tank. Yeah, just technically as well, and both yeah, safe yeah. paws. Yeah, it would just be a yeah. difficult one. Yeah. Um. Okay. Who we got? Got Mohammed. Thanks for coming. He's been on the stream before. Um. What do you think about Haney? Well, obviously we just talked about that. So yeah, yeah you can go back and yeah. can watch that over again. So, uh, calling the shots. What do you think next for Haney? Uh, for me, pro probably the. The Cambosis rematch is going to happen, let's be honest. After that, I'd quite like to see the Lomachenko fight or just any of those names we just discussed. Yeah. A big name would be good. Um, How about uh, Tio? You, do you think anything about Tio, Tio Fimo? Yeah, I think, well, this is he's going to move up to uh, 140. 140, pound, 140 uh, so I don't know. Yeah, hmm. Unless those guys move up, yeah, um, I can't see them fighting yeah. anytime soon. But... Yeah. It'll be interesting to see. Like I think Tio is still a very talented guy. Like he's he's got power. Yeah. He's got yeah. he has got the talent to come back from that loss. Um, so I, I want to see what he does. Yeah. But I think I just he's think, 140. Mm, yeah. And, and I also think he just needs a better direction. Oh, yeah. Oh, in yeah, the corner. Because like his dad seems like the advice he's getting from his dad, you know, power, get the knockout. Just knock his head off, you know. I know that's not just... that's not gonna I know. that's not good, you know. You got you got a box, you gotta uh -huh. you gotta set things up, you think in there. But yeah, but Lomachenko, you know, that's still the guy I really want to come back. And I believe he's still in Ukraine. Yeah, is I he believe... is he? I, believe... I know Usyk has left. Usyk yeah. has left, but yeah, I, I I hope nothing bad happens to him. Then. Yeah, no, I think that's the thing, people it's like for Lomachenko, I think it's you know what's going on in his country is that's more important right now than boxing. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um, whereas I guess with like Usyk, he's almost like a s symbol of strength for Ukraine. Yeah. Cause he's like the heavyweight champion of the world. So it makes sense to, you know, yeah. let him go off and fight, you know, cause it like makes Ukraine look better when they've got yeah. a Ukrainian champion. But like I said, uh, not to get too, but I'd, I'd like to get him, I'd like to see him fight again against any of those guys like Haynes yes, or, yes, or whoever. Yes. So it'll be interesting yes. to see. Yes. Um, Wait, the guy loves it. <laughs> uh, maybe I should read it. <laughs> what does he say? Uh, uh, hey, same pare. Uh, Floyd is my idol. Uh, yeah. Um, is that another film? Basically, you know? um, yeah. Almost the Pinoy tayo dito. Sorry, sir. Speak to God. Um, yeah, man. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I think re really underrated. Um, I know, I know, he, Manny's the the superstar in the Philippines, but um, you know, uh, us Filipinos should also look at Floyd and what we can learn from that American style. slick style. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because uh, Filipinos, uh, um, I think many of us are st stuck with that warlike mentality, and if if you always have wars, like yeah. in all your fights, you're, you're not gonna last long. Mm -hmm, exactly. So, so, so yeah, pare. Um, si Floyd talaga dapat uh, uh, ifollow natin. <laughs> Sorry, it's the guy. No, it's okay. No worries, no worries, man. <laughs> All right. But yeah. All right. Here we go. Nick Harry Bergen Jr. Denier wins four eight, and then you said right. probably four six. So which one is it, man? <laughs> Let me know. I I have I have a new knockout. I don't I don't think it's gonna. Last yeah, same. Rounds, personally, but same. I Especially this... if Inoue doesn't have that injury, he'd probably he he'd do better. Also, yeah, right? I don't. Yeah, I can't see it. Like, I just can't see it going the twelve rounds. And then I wouldn't be surprised at the same time if Denari was to get a knockout as well. But if it was to go to decision, I would expect Inoue also to get it. Um, yeah, like the last fight. Maybe maybe Harry, you'll be spot on. We'll 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 find out tomorrow anyway. 
Yeah. Um, what yeah. we got next? Calling the shots again. Thanks for the comment. Floyd and Manny were both amazing fighters, but I think Manny was a better fighter, even though May- Mayweather won when they were both not in their primes. Oh, um, I guess um, it just depends who you ask. For me personally, well, I always felt it's just styles make fights. I think for certain fights, Manny's style was better. For I, I'm just thinking of one off the top of my head, Manny versus uh, Koto versus Manny Pacquiao. Oh, beautiful! Pacquiao fight. was so much better than Mayweather was against Koto. It was just the style, but they both won. I personally thought Manny's style was a bit better, but um, yeah. It just depends on the fighter, I think, more. But by the time they fought, they were well past their primes. So, yeah. And it kind of suited more Mayweather. Just he was a bit more economical than um, yeah. Manny's explosiveness and quickness. Yeah. yeah. And Mayweather's style also is a lot less physical than Manny's style. So you can also kind of bring the Mayweather style into an older age than like, because cause Manny's a very, like, his style's very physical, you know, so much jumping. Uh, bouncing around but um uh, for me personally i think if you're if we're talking about pure technical skill then i would say floyd is better because he he can like he can adapt to any situation like what we saw when when shane mosley got him with the right hand shane mosley was never able to get him with the punch again because floyd Mm -hmm. adapted and that to me is such a you know important factor but uh, to give Manny credit, Manny has the best uh, res for me. He has the best resume in, in all of boxing history. Like what he was able to do. Yeah, it's from, crazy. His... From flyweight to super welterweight. Um, yeah, crazy. And, and other, I, I I know he's broken other records, but yeah, like just being a divi- uh, champion in eight divisions alone. Uh, yeah. That's why for me, M- Manny will always have the greatest resume. Yeah. But Technical, technical wise, I, I'd give it, I'd give the edge to Floyd. Yeah, definitely. No, I, I probably agree with you there. I think, um, Floyd does probably just does it for me. Um, but you can't deny, you know, what Manny did. Um, yeah, some career. Yeah. Uh, juvenile Paradise, I think that's how you say it, man. So African American boxing is based on personal athletic abilities, e.g., jab and move. You said some other things as well. Explosive combinations and move again, tight up in the inside. It frustrates every fighter that is not used to that style. Uh, I guess, like, yeah, that culture, the African American boxing, like that culture of boxing, it's that slick kind of yeah. movement and the jab, jab, good footwork, using the jab, good defense. Yeah. And it's boxing. That's what it is. You know, they've just kind of perfected yeah. it, you know, over. Yeah. Um, you know, in in that culture of you know, you yeah. see any of the African American boxers now, it's they're just they're all that Smooth. kind of slick way. You don't see that kind of Mexican style. You know, no, it's, the, it's like the them. complete op- It's like uh, yeah. water and fire. Basically. Yeah, uh, uh, and- I I, fe- I felt like um like Floyd also had a big influence on this like slick movement that all like many of these African American boxers are utilizing, and and re- we're seeing the Philly shell. A lot more now yeah you know like like i, I see haney try to pull it off a bit <laughs> but but yeah so yeah, yeah. You know. he's just so not as good that's the difference yeah yeah you know there will right. only be one master i guess yeah, yeah. Like Mayweather. uh we've got prince again um prince heaven b valdez uh george looks george looks so confused during the fight and every time he set, sets up his punches he eats a jab and haney would always move out the way yeah i think yeah. just you struggle to get past that jab and I think frustrates you frustrate. I think it's also just Haney's use of footwork and like we were talking about earlier, but yes. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens in the rematch juvenile again. What do you say? Cambosis can win if he hires box boxing prospects as sparring partners, kid Austin, Jalen, uh, Skywalker, Ashton. I don't know. any. Of I, I think Jaylen I've heard of kid Austin, Jalen, I've heard of Jalen like Skywalker. Name, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's think, a real. Well, that's you know, pretty dope. I think he's signed under. Uh, I think I know this Ashton Sile guy. Ashton Sile. H two O. I think that's his nickname. I, I think I've seen that guy, Ashton. 
Yeah. I, I, oh, I know him. I follow him on Instagram. Yeah, Ashton. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ashton's. I don't know how to say that. Yeah. Salve. Sylvie. 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 He's he's his nickname's H two O, I think. But yeah. Um. Yeah, the guy's pretty slick. Um. You know, like I guess similar to Devin. They're both very slick guys. Uh, Devin seems seems like he has much longer arms than Ashton, though. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it it could help, you know. Having guys like that really simulate the the Haney style, um, but now, yeah. Now that I think about it, he actually had um, what's his name the 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 young Puerto Rican guy that's coming up uh, Zenas is that how you Sa- say his name Xander Sa- Zayas Zay- Zay- yeah. yeah he heard. had him as a sparring partner. Oh really? So, um, Are they similar in style? Well, no, not really. <laughs> so, oh, okay. so he's more of a. <laughs> your typical kind of Puerto Rican fighter, you know, oh, okay. more aggressive and yeah, he's got a long yeah. reach, obviously like yeah. Haney, maybe that was the reason that why they brought him in, but I don't know. It was quite yeah. a strange yeah. one to do. Yeah. Uh, Southpaw, uh, <laughs> 700, <laughs> Canelo is a disgrace to boxing. Oh, man. I don't, lost I don't two fights. That, man. <laughs> like what? I, lost two. How many fights has he had? And he's only lost two. I got two fights. This is what I'm talking about, dude. Um, all of a sudden, like, I don't know what's up with boxing culture. It's different in MMA. Like, in MMA, like, you have the the, the, the world champ. Like, they've had, like, what, five, six losses? Yeah. And people yeah. still love them. And in, in boxing, you lose, you lose like, once or twice. And, oh, my God. The worst. <laughs> the worst champion in history. But, like, know, come on. Come on, guy. Canelo went up to light heavyweight. Give him a break, man. I know. I know. Come <laughs> give, on. give him a break. You'll, but yeah, you'll cut. You'll you know, you have to give him credit. You can't. Yeah, yeah. You just, Vivo is good though. Yeah, definitely. Vivo is really good. Uh, okay. Okay. Ozzy Man Diaz. Ozzy Man Diaz. I think that's how you say it. Sorry yeah. if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, there will be no tricking. It ends in the tenth. Nui by KO. Father time. Denier. Ed Denieri looks at him. No abs this time. Age <laughs> caught up. Oh, I'm not actually. I'm not actually looked at the weigh-in of uh, Denary. I don't know what he looks like on the scales, but I saw. I saw a picture of a new a new, and he looked pretty. You look pretty good. So, have you seen Tyson Fury though? <laughs> you know, you don't need that. Oh, there you go. I know, but it's different. It's different at bantamweight, Zico. That's the. Difference. No, that's true. So, <laughs> but still, but still. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, you know, um. Oh God, got iced. Yeah, he did get iced. Yeah. yeah, it was a good knockout, good setup. Yeah, um, good setup. Here we got Prince Seven B Valdez again. Thanks for the comment. Um, should you run every day for boxing, cardio, and how long should a fighter run? Uh, I just like from what I've learned of coaches, they say you know should try and get. 10 10k a week in a week um you don't want to be going doing crazy runs like obviously it's different when you're like a professional when you're like manny pacquiao running up the mountains oh my god <laughs> but, those calves yeah I know. Crazy. there's a reason why he runs up those mountains but in terms of like what i've learned here uh, from coaches when to run um they say you know you shouldn't do especially if you're doing lots of boxing training as well you won't need to go on like big long runs all the time. So about if you can get up to about 10 K in a week, I think you're, you keep yourself at a or good I, amount. I, think I don't even, know what do you um, think Zico. I think even uh, like sprints also, you know, it doesn't yeah. have to just be uh jogging. Um, I, I know in Muay Thai, it's, it's really like really, really long jogs, but I, I think for, since boxing is a bit more fast paced, you know, uh, I think sprinting, sprinting would also mix it up with sprinting from time to time. It, it doesn't yeah. just need to be uh, jogging, but yeah, but you know, this is like what kind of separates like Flo- Floyd from the the rest. Cause I know Floyd, he, he does running last in the day. Like, like uh, he'll do boxing first in the morning and, and running last in the day. So, cause like, according to him, you know, why, why, why waste your energy on running when you can, you know, put it all into boxing? Exactly. Yeah, because like that's the thing. The like, if, you're, if you're boxing training every single, if you're training twice a day, and then I'm yeah. talking more about amateur, okay, at the moment, I'm not talking about like professional for for anyone that's thinking. Yeah. So, um, any pros here? 
guys. Any any pros? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Ozymandia says, 10K. Well, what's she saying? I did 10K with them after a beer the night before. Who are you, man? Tell me who you are. What's your What's your real name? I'd love to know. Um, okay, who, where are we going now? Uh, I think that was the, the last, was it? Was that the last one? Just having so. a look. Uh, I'm trying. There's so many comments from Ozamande as <laughs> trying to find. If you, if you guys, if there's anyone in the chat, put in your your comments about the, any of the fights, and we'll answer it as soon as they come in. Um, I feel like I've missed a whole bunch. Uh, Mohammed, sorry I missed that one, man. Um, what do you think about Tank and Roly? Who's next for Tank? Oh. Uh, I'd quite like to see the Ryan Garcia fight if that happens. Um, I think that's a good fight. What's what do you next? think? What do you think about Tank and Roly? And who is, I mean, honestly, um, the Roly Tank fight was kind of just to for the beef because Roly was. You know, non-stop trash talking. Um, I mean, I, I want to see, um, I want to see Tank fight those those other top guys. To be honest, like like Tio, Ryan, because Ryan keeps saying a lot of stuff. I, I I'd like to see, uh, like, but I'd I'd love to see Ryan versus um Pitbull Cruz. Actually, I, I'm so I'm pretty sad that that didn't happen. So you know, I, Isaac Cruz is also someone like um i'm looking at he's he's pretty fun to watch especially with his performance against uh yuri Orcus. yeah but yeah um boxing politics is just so so hard to deal with so i, I hope tank can get a, like a fight with ryan or or like Theo, even like george or, or yeah, Devin, yeah. like those top guys basically yeah no that would be good just yeah. i know any of them would be nice um Hamid, please do the streams more often. They're really entertaining. I learn a lot from them. Thanks, man. Really, I've, I know you've been on the streams quite a bit and appreciate the support, dude. It means a lot. Uh, have you watched? Is that, I'm assuming that's I, Manny Pacquiao's son, yeah? Yeah. I, you know, I, I was actually there in his very first fight in the Philippines. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, okay. yeah. I watched him live. Oh, what's this? Have you watched Jamel Pacquiao's Boxing uh, you know, him. like yeah. if you compare uh, Jim Well, like in his first fight compared to now, it, it's a big, big, big improvement. Um, he uh, he actually uh, fought a guy I I I, I trained with before. All right, but, cool. Yeah, but you know, like back then, Jim Well was you know like a typical beginner. He's just kind of flailing around like yeah. that. You know, like what you usually see that those kinds of yeah punches, yeah but, yeah those white Jim Well is fought. getting really good and and he's staying busy. He had like two fights within within a month or something, and and it's he seems really dedicated to it. I saw his body change. Dude's dude's gotten pretty ripped. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Um, I'm not. I I can see Jim Well going pro eventually. I mean, you know, you got you have guys like Rocky Marciano or da and David Benavides. They went pro after like twelve amateur fights. Yeah. So yeah. you know, maybe Jim Well can do it. Um, uh, we'll, I, I saw don't think. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. I think it was he not training with he was like in the Canelo gym at one point. Uh, with... oh yeah, he trained a bit with Canelo. Um Canelo Canelo and Ed, and Eddie gave, gave him some, you know, advice, but um his his main training is with the the, the people at Wildcard. And you know, he, he's training hard. I mean he went to America just to train, so that that's a big commitment. Uh and um, yeah, I can see him going pro. Do I think he'll reach the level of Manny? Uh, that's that's pretty hard. <laughs> no way, I can. Maybe he can he can win something. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that one. Yeah, but uh, I support Jim Well. You know, I respect respect. You know, that that's hard. Boxing's hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Denari will be a proud Filipino here. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Uh. <laughs> is Jake Paul greater than Muhammad Ali? Facts, facts. <laughs> That's of a course. fact, man. Of course. <laughs> the best. Are you you crazy, man? Like, I mean, of course he's better. He than fought, 
Like, dude, he fought wrestlers and an NBA guy. Come on, come on man. <laughs> who, who has Ali fought? You know, not cool. <laughs> um, just checking the it, time. It's entertaining, though. Like, I know. It's pretty it entertaining seeing it Jake. Is. I know. But, you know, it's a circus. Yeah, it really Fight is. the circus. I wonder I what think... he'll do next. <sighs> Hopefully he fights a boxer next. That's what I want to see. But yeah, yeah, he should. There's he talk should. about Anderson Silva, but I, I don't. I know. guess I don't do know. I think... want to see that. Like, oh, yeah. I, you think? Never... Well, what do you think would happen? You think Anderson would? Uh, have you seen Anderson... Anderson? Did beat Chavez? Yeah. Have you seen? Yeah, but... Have you seen him box? He's actually really good. Yeah, he is good. Uh, yeah. I mean, because he did have a pro boxing, uh, some pro boxing fights way before. Like, like when he, well, well, I think he took a bit of a time off MMA and he did some pro boxing bouts. So like, like Anderson is, you know, is pretty good in boxing. He, he could have been a good pro if he, if he yeah. chose to focus on boxing instead of, of MMA. And, and it's also good that he's here, especially with his leg injury. You know, he doesn't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah. But yeah, um, Anderson versus Jake, um, <laughs> I, I'm gonna give it to Anderson, but I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe he. I know he's forty-six years old. So yeah, that's like... all. I mean, Jake. Jake still got. Jake's got some power, you know. That overhand, you know. Yeah, that could yeah. still land. Uh huh. I'd watch it though. Yeah. Uh, Vasco, who's your pick? Well, I'm going for Anui, and uh, Zico is going for Denari. Obviously, as a proud man from the Philippines, so <laughs> that's where you can go back oh. and watch. Kind of our thoughts. My heart's fight. for Denire, but yeah. um, my mind tells me in a way. But but I will support Denire, Ho- will hoping see. he can he can do it. We will see. We will see. Um, if there's any more comments, guys, put them in the chat now. I think we'll be. Do you want to stay another kind of five ten minutes, Zico? If we get any more comments, yeah, sure, sure, no problem. Uh, so yeah, put any questions about the fight tomorrow, um, or any of the fights of the weekend in the chat now. And we'll we'll get through some of them. Um, I think there's been conversations in the the chat, so I've kind of lost quite quite a few. But um, uh, I like what this guy. I like what Ozzy said. Japan versus the Philippines, battle of the coral sea. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whoever wins will get it. Yeah, yeah. Whatever sea that is. I'm sorry if Ozzy le- comment. Let us know who you have winning. I've probably missed it in the chat because you've commented so much oh, prince the prince said something gg triple g or canelo and the oh yeah that's the that's the next fight for canelo it's not going to be vivo it's going to be it's going to be triple g yeah yeah well um, what, what do you think uh i'm quite like I, obviously i think canelo is going to win it but i think triple g will be able to put up more of a fight than people are suggesting got you a lot of people are saying he's 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 out. He's forty years he's old. Done. He's got no chance. And I, I agree, but I still think he'll make it a competitive fight. Whether he lasts twelve, you know, I, I think he will last the twelve rounds. I think yeah. it'll be hard, and he'll get beat up. But yeah, I think he can make yeah. it competitive in the early rounds. And let's be honest, the only way he can win is by knockout. And yeah. is that going to happen against Canelo? Probably yeah. not. What I mean... What do you think, Zico? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty similar with what you think. Um, I mean, uh, this this should have happened back then, you know, like 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 the the trilogy fight should have happened earlier, but um, you know, the the you know age is still a factor. Um, I yeah. did see G uh, Triple G's fight with uh, Morata, and you know, he was having trouble a bit in the beginning, but you know, he came back, and you can still see G uh, Triple G has it. But it's not how like how he was before, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you know Canelo has also evolved leaps and bounds, uh, like his fighting style, at, like since the since the last fight with Triple G, and 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 he's he's always been fighting bigger guys now, so he he'd probably adapt to that. The power wouldn't really trouble him as much anymore, and you know his defense is also pretty damn good. And I think yeah. I think what's gonna happen is he's gonna slip a lot of shots, and and catch Triple G with some counter or his his looping left hook, the one he's really good yeah, at, the, the looping true. one that yeah. that caught GG, uh, Triple G real good. And I, I can actually see Canelo even getting a a TKO to be honest. Yeah, 
I can wow. I can see a, I can see a TKO, because especially at especially at uh, Triple G's uh, age, I think he'll put up a fight, but we'll see. But we'll see. yeah, I th- I co- I see I I think oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's I yeah. think it's I can imagine Canelo just going to the body of Golovkin like right. crazy, and Golovkin think- just. Lowering the guard and then really? Canelo going up top, but I, I still think he can make it competitive. Yeah, but uh, you know, who knows? We'll, we'll obviously we'll find yeah. out. But yeah, um, I think it'll still be good. But like, I I can see Canelo just like getting the finish, especially since he he's been able to go up as big as light heavyweight. You know, he knocked out an aging Sergey, but you know that that's a big guy. Uh uh-huh. you know? That, I'd be shocked if he was to knock out Triple G. I'd be shocked. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll see. Uh, yeah. All right. Who else? So we'll stay another ten minutes, guys, and then I think we'll finish up. So if you've got any last questions, please put it in. We'll try to get these through a bit quicker. Uh, Juvenile Muhammad, I, Muhammad boxing cultures exist. However, I respect your thoughts. I think that there was conversation going on in the chat. Oh. Um, Bruce Gas Boxing Jazz and more. I like the I like that name, man. Uh, just sub <laughs> to your channel. Um, thanks for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. And I like the name of your channel. It's cool. Uh, Ozzy, what are you saying? You fought Canelo on both fights. Oh my god! Ooh. Surely not. What do you think? Surely not. No way. He lost the first one, in my opinion. Yeah, and then the second, I gave a draw. But I understand how you could give it to Canelo. How did you have it? Uh, um, the first one. I mean, it's been so long, but um, I, I, I actually thought it, it was a draw. If I'm being honest, the the first the first one. Um, it, it's 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 been a while, but but the second one I did have I did have Canelo winning the the second one. Mm-hmm. I think he mm-hmm. landed the the bigger shots. Um, but the first one was definitely closer. Um, okay. But 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 yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I I honestly thought it 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 could have been a draw if I'm being honest. The first one, I thought the first one was was pretty close. Maybe I need to rewatch it. You need to rewatch it. it. It's been it's been a while. And I watched that. How old it. was I when I watched it live? Um, <laughs> I know I was, it was like five a, years a lot ago, younger. A lot younger than you. Yeah, yeah, a lot, yeah. I'm I'm getting too old now. So. Uh, <laughs> Prince again. David Benavides. Give, oh. Yeah, I think he. I think he would give him a hard fight stylistically, yeah. but I still think in this moment in time, I still think Canelo beats Benavides. However, Same. if this drags out another couple of years and Benavides keeps building up experience, I think that's when it gets starts to get worse for Canelo. In my opinion, I don't. What do you think, Zico? Yeah, I mean, I think I think David. I mean, it's crazy to think he's at this level with you know just twelve amateur fights, but um, I think that David needs a bit more experience. Uh, I think there's there's still holes in his defense, um, but his uh, his his speed is pretty damn good. His his uh, his offense and his speed, but um, he needs to get more uh, get more of that experience, and he'll he'll prove a tougher match for Canelo. But right now. Uh, Can- Canelo may have lost his last fight, but he's still the king for me in that division, and I I don't see um, Benavides uh, beating him. Yeah, uh, maybe Benavides versus Plant. They've had yeah, I'd love had to see issues. The... You know, yeah, I'd I- like I'm to see Plant. Plant, yeah, yeah, I know. Are you Plant or uh, David? Pro- probably Plant, if I'm being honest plant, plant. At, at the moment. But I I just his story, you know, Plant Plant's story is so inspiring that, that's yeah, why i also I know. like the guy yeah i know he's a cool guy um and he follows I, you i know yes yeah, so, yeah he follows Caleb, me on instagram Caleb, watch our streams yeah i know he follows me on instagram <laughs> yeah, um, and aj too that's so that's so dope yeah you guys can follow boxing life on instagram as well they clearly check out my channel <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no it's pretty cool that they follow like um my page so yeah. like i don't know if they've seen any of my videos or anything like that um yeah. I know. Uh, I think Rogan... Caleb shared your video. I've seen Caleb share. Yeah, he shared one of my videos. Video. Yeah. I had Joe Rogan shared my Mayweather video. Hello, Joe. Which was... Joe watching. <laughs> Maybe Joe is here. 
I know. <laughs> I'm just I'm just bragging about all these people now, but <laughs> no, it's no. I appreciate honestly. Like I do generally. Like it's nice to know that people are coming and enjoying my content, even like professional. Like I've had like professional coaches reach out and stuff and asking for analysis and their fighters and stuff. Like, but damn, it's like it's cool. Like, I, I'm just really grateful to be in the position I'm in. Yeah, and like even your stuff, Zico. It's like. The boxing breakdowns they they do help people understand the sweet science yeah. you know a lot of people yeah they just see it as a fight when that's not what yeah. it is um yeah so we do we do good in the world yeah <laughs> yes you gotta yeah. continue the work continue and, <laughs> yeah, and i'm exactly. pretty happy like with my with my growth you know like I, I was stuck for a while with 2000 and out of nowhere like this new thing i've been doing so I've yeah i've been good. able to grow too so you yeah know, just gotta yeah. keep keep at it yeah and if yeah. you guys are here make sure to um obviously follow zico he's the fight diary you can get him on youtube and then yeah, if you're, just... any of you guys are on tiktok as well the fight diary 98 and zico's doing some really good content there so make sure to to check him out um <sighs> Okay, well, we'll just spend. We'll just answer these last few questions. So, Prent, how did you guys start boxing? Uh, so for me, I started about ten years ago. I came into it late. I was twenty-one, um, but I've always watched it. It's always been something I've enjoyed, and um, yeah, I've been doing it the last ten years. Uh, training, but I've had some. I was saying to Z Zico just before this, I've had some bad injuries and stuff. So. There's been times I've like been out the ring for quite a while, um, but hoping to to get back into it this year, get a fight. And uh, Zico, you can let them know how you got into boxing. It all started a long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a long time I, pre I pretty yeah. much had the I have the Karate Kid story basically. So um, you know, uh, typical bullies, um, and you know. Um, I decided that you know enough was enough. I had to learn to gain some confidence and not to defend myself. So there was a, a a boxing gym in in my school, and I'd always pass by it. And one day I just gave it a shot, um, and fell in love with the sport. And you know uh, I'm I'm so grateful that uh, I'm into boxing and other martial arts now because yeah. it gave me the confidence to finally stand up to to my bullies you yeah. know like I, I legit i slapped the i hit them in the face oh really <laughs> and they were they, they showed me they were two and they showed me and then i i turned around and i i, I did like a bitch slap like that bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> like both of them so yeah right. you know if you guys you know if you're dealing with bullies learn a combat sport yeah definitely i i totally agree with that like right. um because yeah. like i i remember i got bullied once when i was younger and um yeah i didn't know yeah any martial art at that point and you, you feel like helpless yeah but like now that i've been like training for the last 10 years in boxing like i like i just feel like you, you just feel like you yeah. can handle yourself like yeah. in those situations but yeah, and you're more confident in your yeah. abilities you know the, these uh honestly like bullies like if you do something to them they they won't do anything back because it's it's not what they're expecting yeah they're expecting you to cower in fear but if they actually see that you're willing to do something about it, they they get scared. Yeah, but yeah. Have you ever yeah. thought about like doing other martial arts, or has yeah, it I will. Been... I, okay, so now that you mentioned, so I originally started when I actually I started the kickboxing first, yeah, and then I went on to boxing. So I I have tried kickboxing, but I didn't enjoy the whole leg kicking thing. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I get that. Yeah, it's not for me. I mean, yeah, um, I, I mean, just... in Muay Thai, they make us do splits yeah i could see i could not do i could not do the splits, splits like, like uh that, that was painful yeah 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 um but yeah no like you said with the bull that's really it's an inspiring story about the bully stuff zico and like you know bullies you know it's just a direct reflection of themselves that's why they do those things and you know that's why you know yeah. you know Teach doing a mixed stuff. martial art like boxing kickboxing muay thai yeah. Make sure you guys, if if you've not yeah. thought, if you're thinking about starting, make sure you always you in self really defense. Yes, yeah. it's always self defense okay. as well, not um, to not to be the bully, yeah. obviously. Yeah, always in self defense. Yeah. yeah. 
Exactly. If something happens to you, um, if you do some, if you assault someone, uh, I'm not responsible. So, <laughs> you know, that's all on you, man. <laughs> all right. Uh, Juvenile Paradise, respect from Los Angeles. Thank you for your hard work, guys. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank you for really watching. Appreciate... Thank you for watching. Uh, Aussie, I've seen Zico and on Filipino Filipino channels. Always great content. Yeah. Good stuff, Aussie. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Tank follows you as well, does he? I've, does he? I did not know he follows me. I'll need to check that out after this stream. <laughs> All right. Um, Tips on dealing with injuries, had a quad tendonitis for like a year, which is really annoying. I don't know what to do. Go If you can go to a physio mo, that's what I recommend. Get professional help. That's because I had a really bad shoulder injury and I went to a physio and basically they said I had two options to get surgery or to, to rest it and strengthen other parts of my shoulder. Uh, it de it all, all depends on the injury. I'm not going to lie. Like I've also had a gro bad groin injury in the past as well. And so, so sometimes it's all just about rest and strengthening yeah. other muscle groups and getting medical advice as well. Yeah. I think that's all I can recommend yeah. you. Um, I think my is... worst injury was, uh, I, I used to box with braces. Oh, wow. So, so I'd get cuts in my lip. Like inside oh, the lip. So yeah, guys, don't box with braces. Yeah, I've like yeah. just I don't know. You guys can probably see I'm I'm a bit burnt. Oh. I'm the sun was out, but I broke my nose really bad once oh. as well. So yeah. it happens. You can you can probably tell it's a bit squint. Yeah. Um and I had the option of getting it back in place, but oh, no. they they were gonna basically get in to get this metal rod and oh. my nose and get the hammer. And oh my god. He's like, you no. have two options. You get the hammer out or you continue boxing because you're probably going to break your nose again. I was like, oh, shit. I'm going to continue boxing. Uh, that's, the, that's the smart, <laughs> good choice. Good choice. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Aussie, I ruptured my tendon. My last fight had emergency. Oh, that's, that's bad, yeah. man. I'm old now, nearly 50. I did oh, age 36. Yeah. Dude, that sounds like a bad injury. Uh, urban productions broken now yeah exactly man it's part of it like i've yeah. i've like heard it before it's, it seems to have like like it's really hard now <laughs> ever since i broke it Jeez. so it's like harder now than it yeah like it was before yeah. so I mean, it it's a lot worse if you have a really pointy nose yeah you know, it, like, <laughs> like my nose like, <laughs> it doesn't help like uh <laughs> it's like uh you know Having a flat nose is a bit. It's a bit of a. It's a blessing in boxing. <laughs> yeah, you exactly. can take it more. Like like exactly. even me, I have a pretty pointy nose, and, and I felt some pain. I never broke it, but I felt it yeah. here before, and I get nosebleeds easily. Yeah, it's like it's like a horrible crunch. It, yeah, oh, it was yeah, horrible, yeah. but uh, it is what it is what it is. It's just part. Of so the, you gotta decide if this is worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the sport. Um, Ozzy bully has no honor. GSP. Uh, uh, GSP? GSP? Uh, I don't know. George St. Pierre? What? Uh, that's, George St. Pierre. That's what I was thinking as well. <laughs> that's, that's what. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, um, Prince. Okay, we'll ans answer a couple more questions and I think we'll we'll call it one. So we'll. we'll yeah. If there's one more question after this or a couple, we'll answer them. Uh, Prince, how important is the jab? Well, very important. Go back and, well, if you were here, I think you were here at the start. Obviously, we talked about Devin Haney's jab and how that basically just won him the fight. Um, also, but also just like using it with footwork as well and just distance range. It can, you can faint with it. Uh, you can set up other yeah. punches with it. It's, yeah. it's the most important punch in boxing. Yeah. I mean, uh, Never forget the the fundamentals. You know, mm -hmm. the, the basics is is very key. And ba basically, if if you can't land the jab well, you probably won't land the straight. So so uh, jab the jab is key. And um, yeah, you can use it to set up all these other power shots. It all starts with the jab. I mean, if you look at how Bivol used it to great effect against Canelo. Um, 
you see such a like a very like the first punch you learn in boxing and he used it to such great effect in in a world class fight so you know really like i i my suggestion to all beginners is before you go into like learning all these other like uppercuts hooks you know um learn how to really throw the jab and that will take you around the world basically yeah definitely um urban productions is the jab effective in real life in a fight or just gloved up well take take it this way like oh, like we were saying like we're not encouraging anyone to get in the fight but i would i would only use the jab as like a defensive movement in a fight um to keep yeah. a guy off me and, and run away and, like an actual and run in, in a street fight yeah, yeah. Right. like i always recommend that to anyone if you're in a street fight get out like, of the fight as soon yeah. as possible no. because if you, you know you could kill someone with a punch yeah um, like like just throw a quick jab a, a stiff jab even to like yeah. blind them and and get out as quick as you can yeah you know? on the right in the um, nose you know break right the, the nose, nose. And yeah, then exactly. get the hell yeah. out of there. um uh mo what are you saying uh when you're studying fighters do you watch their full highlights the, the full fights or just the highlights i tend to usually watch the full fight and this is how i do it anyway zico can the cat's out the bag now but <laughs> Basically, I just walk, I put on a fight and then I just watch it and just take notes on things that they do. That's how I do yeah. it. And then I start cutting parts and then I, that's how I compile yeah. my analysis. Yeah. Um, what, how do you do yours? I, I do a, a mix of both. Um, like in my early videos, I, I would watch full fights and what I would, I would take note down of uh, something that they do often in that one fight. And and I'd see if they do it again in the other fights because sometimes th that move they do it's 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 something that just happened in the fight. It's not something they really do often. So I like to look at the things that uh, these guys do often. Yeah. And 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 I like to compile all of them. Like what I did. That's what I did with my Manny video, the uh, Relentless. Yeah. I'd, I'd watch the full fight. Um, typically the the later fights where they're at their prime because you know I don't yeah. think I can watch. 50 full fights in one go <laughs> but yeah yeah so yeah that's how i usually do things like a mix of both highlights and full fights yeah uh interesting no, that's good that's good to know like um you know, sometimes like um when i'm doing like my breakdown it's easier sometimes just to take the highlights and you can get specific yeah. clips but yeah. i usually just like to i like watching the full fight so i can then yeah. clip it if you know yeah. and we'll answer okay we'll answer one more if there's one i can see prince have a good night boys thanks for the great content appreciate it dude thanks for coming on the channel and we'll take one last question if you put it in the chat we'll answer it and then we'll finish up if anyone wants to put it in who will be first any questions guys last question last questions hello from russia Hello from Russia. Thank you for motivating Hello. me through tough times. Hi, man. No, I'm uh, glad. So hopefully this helps Очень you приятно. Привет, меня зовут Зико. Очень приятно. Can you speak Russian? Yeah? No, that's all I know. I just know that <laughs> one phrase. Right, I just okay. searched it up one day. <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool, though. But yeah, thanks, yeah. thanks for the support, man. We appreciate it. Mo, don't have a question, but great stream. Thank you, man. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Bruce, like I love that name, Bruce Gas Boxing Jazz and more. Good sight, guys. I'll be back. No, I appreciate it, man. Hope to see you back. I'm assuming right. there's no last questions. So, and Ozzy's just laughing. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So, I think that's we'll finish up, guys. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, hope you all enjoy the fight tomorrow for Anui yeah. versus Denier. It's been great having Zico on as well. Yeah. If you guys haven't followed him yet, make sure to check him out at the Fight Diary. Want something get... short and sweet? Yeah, <laughs> short and sweet breakdowns. Does some really good stuff. He's all. If you any of you are on TikTok as well, make sure to check him out there. Um, at the Fight Diary ninety eight, does some good. Like I said, really good uh, content, and. Yeah, no, just thank you very much, Zico, for coming on. I'll definitely get you yeah, on no again, problem. man. It's been good. It it's was been fun. great to chat. I, I, I love this. I, I absolutely love it. And I hope everyone um, who watched 
um, I hope you also enjoyed having me here, <laughs> or or you can kick me out or something. But no, uh, yeah, no, this, no. Was, this is this is great. Um, thanks for inviting me, Jamie, and I I'd be down to do this again for for uh, any big upcoming fights. So yeah, that's great, guys. All right, thank you very much, Siku, man. I appreciate it, dude. And uh, All right, no I'll, I'll get you on again, and we'll, we'll yeah, man. It was fun. We'll do, it was fun. We'll do another talk. Yeah, it's been All right, good, G, been good G. fun. Okay, right. guys, I'll leave. I'll finish off just with that video again. And uh, as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.